All right, so hello everybody. Um, I just want to say Happy New Year because it's been forever and a day since I recorded my last video. I'm so sorry, but you guys may or may not know I have a love-hate relationship with YouTube, but I'm back and today I'm going to be filming a highly requested tutorial. Um, it's going to be an application of false eyelashes and then I think I'm just going to continue the look and um, go with like a sultry, kind of smoky-ish, kind of natural-ish date night look, if that made any sense. I'm starting with a bare face, so this is what I look like. And bear with me because I'm not a makeup guru. I've said this before, but I'm just going to show you guys what works for me and give you all my tips and tricks that I can. If you have any questions, leave comments for me at the bottom of the comment section. And I hope you enjoy. Because I just moved my vanity over here. So if you see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is set up right here. But the first thing that I start with is I start with this Avon True Color Glimmer Stick in the color Black is Black. It's like my holy grail go-to uh, eyeliner. I like it because it's not a pencil, technically. That's the cat. Now that I think I got the cat under control, so uh, my trick, I guess, is to just do a thin line over your eye. There you go. And I always do a wing because wings make you fabulous. Can you see that? And then I do my other eye, like so. So there, that is about as thick of a line. That's all you need. Okay, I adjusted the lighting a little bit on my camera, so in case you couldn't see before what my eyes look like, this is the line, my eyeliner, and my little wing. And next I'm gonna show you how much glue you need to apply onto the eyelash. I use um, Ardell lashes, lash glue. And I also use Ardell 105s for my lashes. I swear by these. I'm just lining the lash. It's all the glue that you'll need. Now I'm just going to get the lash as close to my lashes as possible. So I'm going to attempt to do this in the mirror while showing you guys as well. So, I think it as close to my lashes as possible. This looks crazy and I'm using the screen on the camera, just to let you know. Really just want to pay attention to how close you get, like you want to line the eyelash on top of the actual eyeliner. That makes sense. And then adjust your lash accordingly. Make sure that there's no gaps, like there's no gaps of skin. Um, in between like the lash, the fake lash and your real lash. And that is how you get the most natural look. And I'm gonna do that to my second eye. Because Hopefully even eyelashes. And we're just gonna wait for the glue to dry on the left eye. One more thing that I will do with my eyes to quote unquote wake them up, as my Aunt Sandy says, I always apply eyeliner to my bottom lid as well. So just get on in there. So now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bake. Uh, all the real makeup artists out there, guys and girls, do not judge me right now because I'm just showing you guys what works for me and I'm just trying to, you know, pass my little knowledge that I have off to you guys. But I use the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. See that? I'm looking like a real makeup artist right now. Not really. But um, when I do my little highlight, I'm telling you guys, I'm 
but this is the color that I use. I have no color what that is. I have no idea what color that is, but I use it. Obviously, I use it a lot. And I use this brush, whatever this brush is called. I think it's called like a flat brush. And I apply to down here to lighten it up a little bit. And I'll be right back because I'm going to go run and get a hair tie to pull my hair back so I can stop doing this. While my face is baking, cooking it up, I'm going to pin my hair back so I don't have to deal with it anymore. But this is usually what I do to my face. Sometimes if I'm feeling real frisky, I'll do a little bit here because I saw it on Pinterest and I kind of like it. But it's kind of shaping my face, I think. And I kind of look like I could be in the cast of Black Swan. And then, you know, sometimes I do a little dab here because if you see the lighting that I'm getting from my window, it's highlighted naturally here. So when it comes to my eyes, um, whenever you're using eyeshadow, a little trick that I was taught is that you should always use shadow primer. And this is the shadow primer that I use. And it is City Color Shadow Primer. You just want to put it on your top lid. For my eyeshadow palette, I think for now I'm going to be using this. This I also got from the eye mats, and you probably can't read that. There we go, I think that's a little better. This is also by City Colors, and it's the Jewel Tones eyeshadow. And this is what the palette looks like. Bam. I like to start with my crease first, and I always like to do a darker color in my crease. So whether it's black, if you're going to do a smoky eye, or like a dark brown. Um, I think I'm going to do black, but I'm going to be very dainty with it. So um, using this brush, sorry, makeup orders tutorial, but I am using this brush. And I actually do believe that this is called a blending brush, my friends. Go me, go me, no my little brush lingo. But I put a little bit on there. My brushes are a little dirty, so I probably don't need to put that much on there. And I'm just going right in my crease. And now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to try to wipe a little bit of this off of the brush. And I'm just going to bring it over a little bit more and blend it in a little bit. Nice, so it almost looks like it's a gray, but it's not, it's black. So I guess we're going for a smoky look here, guys. And for the color, since I said we're going for a little sultry smoky look, I'm going to use this pretty purple. Now I'm just going to take this, it's flat, it's perfect for um, your lid. And you're just going to apply it onto, let me see if you guys can see this. Can you see? And we're just putting it on to the lid. And you're patting. You're just patting. Now I'm just going to do up here, this part of my eye. One of these two or a combination of both. Do, 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 those two. And we're gonna be light because I don't want to go too dark up there. I actually like it a little bit highlighted, kind of. And, sorry, before I start, this is the brush that I'm using, and I literally have no idea what this brush is called. The next time I try to do a makeup tutorial for you guys, I promise I'll educate myself a little bit more.
if you guys remember, the black in the crease, I kind of stopped it like right there. So that's where we're going to start this color that I'm putting, this brownish color. And as I'm now, this you can do your windshield wiper motion because you are blending it. We're actually not taking it off. See that? And this part, so I didn't put anything below my eyebrow because I'm actually going to highlight that. Look how thin that is. It's nice and thin. And I like to also use from my City Color palette. I use this pretty color. It's got a little shimmer in it. Boom, see that? And I just take the tip of the brush. Take the, see that? Just, just the tip. Just the tip of the brush. I am so inappropriate. <laughs> and we're just gonna follow that line under your eye. Get all that I got just from doing the tap motion. Get all that on there, and then you can kind of wipe a little bit slash blend it with the this motion or windshield wiper. See that? Look at oh yes. So this is the Flory Roberts foundation, and it's a cream to powder foundation in hazelnut is the color if you are looking for it, and I use it a lot. Yeah. yeah. I think it's time to get some new. And then I'm going to use my foundation brush. I mean, looks like a foundation brush, right? Makes sense. And I actually, I'll try to show you this. I like try to lightly just rub around because this a little bit goes a long way. And so this is what I just do with the cream to powder. And then I take my MAC Studio Fix, which I'm gonna show you guys how much I've used this. It's embarrassing. I needed a new one like eight years ago. Yeah, there's barely anything on there. But I just skim the edges. Swirl, 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 swirl. And I'm just gonna kinda go over my whole face. Don't push too hard. Um, I don't know, depending on your skin type, do what works for you. But this is what works for me, not too, too much. It's more so I'm literally just brushing the brush along my face, not even. This antique velvet gives me life. And I'm just going to line my lips. Do, 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 do. Yeah. This is an optional step. If you're really feeling yourself, you want to do a little bit of a contour. So I may just contour my cheeks a little bit and this is the color that I use with my flat brush. Um, obviously like wipe it off or something and get right up in there. See, smile. I actually do this. Mm -hmm. And follow that line, yeah. Got that going. Take your foundation brush. We're gonna blend, 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 blend. Like your life depends on it. Mm. There we go. This gives you a little snatched look. And also optional, depending on how flirty you're feeling, you can add some blush. I use City Color Cosmetics again, Intense Blush Quad. I like to take my foundation, or my, my brush and I like to go along all four of them like so. And then I just apples of the cheeks, tap, 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 apples of the cheeks, tap, tap, tap. There you go. That is all I have for you guys today. I truly, truly, truly hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I've tried my hardest. I've told you I'm not a guru. But I know a little something, something. 
So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, all that good stuff. If you want to see more makeup tutorials from me, let me know in the comments. I would be really interested to find that out. Um, and I hope that this was really easy to follow along. Last thing that I didn't share with you guys, but on the eyelashes, throw a little mascara on the top lash, bottom lash, throw it on there. Call it a day, honey. See you guys next time.